Hey guys, what? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, it is right here. Hey guys, welcome back to Geoboss DE. Today we're going to be checking out a video from Nalf again. So, um, for sure, if you guys have watched this video before, that's awesome. But if you haven't, there's going to be a link in the description of my video. Go check out the original video. Shout out to Nalf. He has really great content regarding Germany. So, um, he's an American living in Germany. Just giving you guys a heads up. If you don't know, now you know. But either way, the title of the video is The Truth About German Pride and Patriotism. So, we're going to be checking out this video right now. So, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and leave a like on this video. And uh, if you haven't watched uh, my previous videos. I'll leave a link right here. You guys can click that and go check out the other videos here on this channel. They're all related to Germany because this channel is only for German reactions and my experiences in Germany. Once I hit 10k subscribers, I'll be trying to visit Germany as soon as possible, God's willing. So let's see what happens. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's get right into this video. I pledge allegiance to the flag Why are you of the doing? United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, under God. indivisible, <laughs> with liberty Stop and it. justice for all. Wait. What I just recited was the Pledge of Allegiance of the United States. Currently, 47 of the 50 states in the U.S. require some version of the Pledge of Allegiance to be said, allowing for certain exemptions for staff and students who don't want to participate. So I grew up saying this in school at the start of each school day since I was five years old. I never thought anything of it until I moved outside of the U.S. More on this later, but first we have to turn our attention to Germany. One thing that is pretty typical for Americans to notice when they come to Germany is the absence of German flags flying everywhere. In the really? USA, you see American flags everywhere. Not just literally the flag flying, but the image of the flag everywhere on t-shirts, on hats. <laughs> That's facts. Well, I, I should take this off. I should take this off. I should take this off. I was going to bring the LA hat too, bro. Like I was going to bring everything. I should take the shirt off. Uh, but it's facts. It is not a lie. It is facts. And um, it is facts. It is facts. I can't say nothing about it, but it is honestly facts. Bumper stickers on keychains, on phone cases. There's a whole American flag merch industry. But in Germany, Big it's facts. incredibly rare to see the German flag. I can think of one building in Schwäbisch Hall that is consistently flying a German flag. So this building right here is basically town hall or city hall, and you'll see there's no German flag on it. In the States, this would absolutely have an American flag. Mm. Okay, back to the Pledge of Allegiance. This is totally normal in the United States, but this would never happen in Germany. After getting to know a lot of Germans, they find this to be creepy indoctrination which looking back on it now, I can kind of see that. I had a really interesting conversation with my friend Riley about this subject. American flags all over a lot of houses, American flag merch and stuff, and in Germany, I mean. Which I don't know, I find it interesting just because it's like, I understand the, the fear, yep. the, the history behind it, but like, it wasn't that flag. Right. So that seems like it should be a symbol that they should re, energize around and re oh i like that a lot i like that too. because i think right be a now symbol of change. Uh -huh. when yeah. people see a german flag they kind of feel like oh because of that but really it's a different flag no I, I, I definitely agree with that because even what now just said where he said when people see a german flag they're like oh the truth is you don't really do that actually you attach the word german not the word, not the flag, not the image of the flag, because the flag symbol, like when I hear Germany and I see the flag, I think cars, you know, industrious um, things like that, they, they machinery. That's what I think, right? I don't go to the negative because the negative is not actually attached to the flag, in my humble opinion. Y'all, the German, can let me know. But what I think the negative is attached around is that image of that guy and his gestures and also the uh, flags that they used, right? That he has a lot of symbols 
right? So I think those are attached because once you see those straight up, right? So, but y'all can let me know. Change. And maybe that's just me because I'm, when I see a German flag, I just think Germany. Yeah. Me too. So if we're judging patriotism on flags and pledge of allegiance, then it appears from the outside that Germany has no pride in its country. But this <laughs> is not the case. Germans actually are proud and patriotic. Start talking about beer or cars or cars. soccer. Germans will get patriotic real quick. But it's a different kind of patriotism. So let's talk about it. But first, a quick message from our sponsor who's become a huge supporter of my YouTube channel, CyberGhost VPN. Yeah, so anyway, back to the online privacy stuff. You're using a VPN, right? Nah. Oh man, you gotta use CyberGhost. It's one of the world leading VPNs and it protects and encrypts all your data online. Okay, but does like, it do anything else? Yeah, I mean, besides privacy and protecting your data, you can also use it to unlock geo-blocked streaming services. Like, I use it all the time here in Germany to watch HBO and Hulu. Yeah, I'm not really into TV shows and movies. Uh, I'm more into sports. Oh, yeah, man, that's perfect. I mean, the World Cup just started, and you can use one of CyberGhost's 8,500 servers in 91 different countries to get access to all sorts of different channels in different countries so you can watch some of the games for free. Yeah, but, like... And it's the number one most recommended VPN on Trustpilot with five-star review, 24-hour customer support, and a strict no-logs policy, so they don't even know what you're doing on online okay i mean that's that's pretty cool and you can use it on all major platforms like i always use it on my phone and my laptop and one account can be used on up to seven different devices so you could share it okay i mean yeah it sounds like a good product but i mean that's just got to be crazy expensive oh man no you use the link in the description you'll get 83 percent off and you'll pay just over two euros a month plus wow. you'll get four months free Okay, but what if I, I get it and I end up not liking it? Well, there's a 45-day money-back guarantee, so it's risk-free. All right, you know what? Okay, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. CyberGhost VPN. American patriotism is loud. It is in your face. <laughs> German patriotism, if you I like that, call though. it I, that. <laughs> is I really like the... Um... Air Force, I really like it. Um, with the jets and everything, I really, really love it. Like, uh, like I love it. There are two things if I was supposed to ever go in any military whatsoever in this world, right? It would be the aircraft or sniper. Like, I, those are two things that I just love when it comes to military. I love that. And because South Carolina, bro, they got a base with the... Um, I can't give you guys the name right now, but that exact... I'm just going to call it Air Force for now, but I'm talking about the exact thingy that go in the sky. Like the, I, well, how do I not remember what it is called? You know, like you got a plane, but you got an Airbus 36, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You got the specific name for that type of plane. They got a base in South Carolina and I'm telling you, it's pretty often where you see those flying and I'm telling you the supersonic sound is amazing. Amazing. Quiet. It's subtle. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious to think, okay, because of the history of World War II, Germans can be uncomfortable with any sort of showing of patriotism or flag flying. I had a conversation with my old football coach, the Unicorns, Ziggy. He's in his 50s now, but he remembers growing up that you would really never, ever see the German flag. It's only now in sort of the younger generations that people are being a little bit more comfortable with the German flag, especially showing around times like this, World Cup time. These are really sort of the only times where you will see German flags being flown on people's cars or from their balcony. It's super interesting to have a conversation with a German about this topic because a lot of times if you ask a German, hey, are you proud to be German? They'll say, why should I be proud? Proud. I was just born in the country by coincidence. I didn't accomplish the things that the country has accomplished. Why should wow. I feel proud? That's this deep. is a pretty common response. That's deep. And if you look at the dictionary definition of proud, it says feeling deep pleasure or satisfaction as a result of one's own achievements, qualities, or possessions, or those of someone with whom one is closely associated. Which this is super interesting because I would say that I feel proud of my family members when they accomplish something. But also I am closely associated with them and you could argue that I had some sort of influence on their life. The achievement. Therefore having right, a right. right to feel pride in their achievements. 
This matches up fine with that definition. But I would also say I feel proud of people that I am not closely associated with. Say there's like an old friend that I lost contact with 15 years ago and I see them from afar on social media accomplishing their lifelong goals and I had nothing to do with it. I was not an influence. I had nothing to do with it. Haven't talked to them in 17 years. I feel proud of them. Now I'm speaking super generally here, so relax if you don't apply to this. But I would say, in my opinion, Germans draw a line much closer than Americans do on who they allow themselves to feel like they are associated with. Big I facts. feel Americans on average are more apt to feel an association with another American and therefore find a way to feel pride in their accomplishments. So there's this pretty popular post on Reddit that sums this issue up pretty well. And it says, Germans are patriotic. In America, you show patriotism by attaching a full-size U.S. flag on your pickup truck or singing the national anthem before every single baseball game. In Germany, we show patriotism by voting for higher taxes on ourselves to make healthcare and college tuition universally accessible to our less fortunate fellow citizens and by picking up after one another to keep public spaces clean and nice for everyone. There's two quotes that I, I very much like, and it's that Americans will say that they are proud to be American. And Germans will say they are glad to be German. It's a different, carefully chosen word. It what is. What saying that I've heard quite often and I really like is, Germans are proud to not be proud. This fits the German mentality perfectly. What's super interesting to me though, is all of this subtlety and delicacy melts away Suck when you start talking about Football. regional pride in Germany. Yeah. It's as if oh, the really? Holy Roman Empire never ceased to exist. You go to Bavaria and you'll see Bavarian flags everywhere, Bavarian flag merch. And when you ask a person from Bavaria if they're German, they'll say, no, I'm Bavarian. Think about Cologne and Dusseldorf. This is one of the biggest regional rivalries in Germany. The rivalry is currently played out with sporting events and talking shit about one another's beer and culture, but the roots of the rivalry go way back. It's way deep. Wow. Some say the Battle of Wuringen on June 5th 1288 is what started this rivalry. Deep Roots, which is much older than the current country of Germany as we know it today. And there are tons of examples of this throughout Germany of regional rivalries. It even goes village by village of small villages which have a couple hundred or a thousand people who have a huge longtime rivalry with the next village. But like I said, this goes wow. way back before the formation of modern day Germany. It's like it's so deep rooted. And this is why I think that the regional pride is so much more outward facing, loud, more similar to American pride. So guys, I'm incredibly interested to hear your perspectives on this, whether you are a German or American or from some other country, really curious to see what people think about this. So please let me know in the comments. And just want to give one more shout out to the sponsor of today's video, CyberGhost That's VPN. That's for sure, bro. I, I definitely um, understand his point. Like, I thought he would have uh, mentioned, you know, like more regarding the soccer at the end right here because it is a huge fact that Germans are very patriotic when it comes to the soccer, right? Football, right? But however, Americans are just generally patriotic. And I, if I'm being honest, I don't think Americans are patriotic over anything based off of what you'd say, their own being, like they're just like rooting for America. You know, like you see a basketball team and you're like, okay, I like this team, I'm rooting for them. It's not something where, you know, there is a sense of, okay, I built this, I contributed to this. It's more, oh, I like it, I'm going with it. You know what I mean? Like you're choosing a car. I think that's really how American patriotism is. However, a lot of other countries, for example, Germany, their patriotism is like based off of achievements that they've come far with their country they're doing this they're doing that it's a it's it's actually very different but um y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below this is a beautiful video again by naf uh link will be in the description of my video to um his video so go check out his video if you haven't seen it as yet and of course thank you guys for watching and um until next time peace